Eli the Iceman. Okay? Eli the Iceman is a very profound mnemonic. It is a tremendous memory tool because it tells us the behavior of voltage versus current given these two types of circuits. So let's go back for a moment and review. So in review of Ohm's law. In review of Ohm's law, you remember that we had a circle and in the circle, we had a line and another line. And you remember what we put in the circle was a V up here, was an I and an R over here. You may also remember in our textbook, the big Delmar textbook, it shows a different lettering. It shows an E, I, and an R. E stands for electromotive force, which is one of the definitions of voltage. So E and V are interchangeable. Anytime you see an E used in a formula, it represents voltage. Is everybody okay with that? And many men books in print and in the literature utilize E, and our Delmar book utilizes the E. Uh, we've been using V simply because V is easier for people to think about voltage rather than E for electromotive force. So that being said, the mnemonic of Eli the Iceman, the E stands for voltage and the I stands for current. What do you think the C stands for? Electric current. What do you think the L stands for? Here is a circuit that has an R, a voltage source, and a what? A capacitor. What letter starts with the, what capacitor starts with what letter? C. Here, we introduced a coil with a resistor, RL time constant. What is the symbol, letter symbol for a resistor is an R, letter symbol for a switch is an S, letter symbol for voltage source is V. What is the letter symbol we use for a coil? L. L is the symbol for inductance, okay? What are the units of inductance? What was the H? Henry's. But the symbol for the coil is given as an L. So guess what, my friends? The L stands for induct circuits, and the C stands for capacitor circuits. So here is your memory tool. Let me write this out for you. Eli, the ice man. This says for inductor circuits. This says capacitor circuits. And this says right here, since this letter comes first, this says voltage will lead current. Or you could say current lags voltage. Over here, since the I is at the beginning of the word ice, and it is bef in front of, before the E, before the voltage, here you would say current will lead. voltage. Conversely, you could say voltage lags.
this is extraordinarily profound. As we get into the next topic of AC with these circuits, it's very important we remember Eli the Iceman. Eli the Iceman helps us remember what physical quantity comes before what physical quantity. And of these two sentences, the sentence that really, that you really want to take to heart is this one right here. This one right there and this one right here. Which quantity comes first? Voltage leads current in a what type of circuit? Inductor circuit. How do I know that's an inductor circuit? Because L is a symbol for inductance. And in capacitor circuits, because C stands for capacitor, current leads voltage. So I'm gonna put a little S here and put a little S here. And let's see if that is the case. If we analyze Eli, if we analyze Eli, Eli says E-L-I, voltage leads current. Voltage is at maximum before current reaches maximum. Take a look at the inductor circuit. And in the inductor circuit that we had just a few minutes ago, here's the coil, here's the resistor. What quantity was at maximum at zero tau? Voltage was at maximum. And then at the end of five tau, what current reaches maximum current? So that's what allowed us to make the concluding remark, voltage leads current. Voltage leads current in an inductor circuit. That's how we come up with this, Eli. Voltage leads current in an inductor circuit. And then if we go to review, does ice, is ice a good mnemonic to describe what happens in capacitor circuits? I for current before E for voltage. So we use this memory tool, current before voltage or current leads voltage. Current is at maximum before, vo before voltage reaches maximum. Let's go and analyze what we have for a capacitor circuit. And in a capacitor circuit, R, C, at zero tau, which one of these quantities is at maximum? The red dot. Current is at maximum before the green dot for voltage reaches maximum at the end of five tau. So our concluding statement here, current leads voltage. And is that what we have here? Current lead voltage. Very important memory tool. I haven't shown you the application of this yet. I just want you to digest this as memory tool. I will get into some lessons uh, and some more reference material that will give you some applicability of this. Uh, this leads us into uh, AC circuits and, uh, and filters. Any questions about this so far? I'll take that as a no. Okay, now let's talk about filters because all 